Oh, well, Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Bill with Hull is going on 101. Probably looks real funny. I have the exposure all the way up because it's getting kind of dark. It's 5.30. So uh, this is going to be my last broadcast for the day. I spent pretty much my whole day, I spent my whole day with one customer. Um, a little difficult. Not because it should have been, but because there was no supply houses open for me to get simple things, so I had to be innovative. Got a hug from the lady. Got a handshake from the husband. Kids all love me. Dogs love me. Cats love me. I even got a tip on the deal. So, I meet the nicest people. This happened to be another one of my clients. First time I ever went to her, but one of my clients. Uh, referred to me by Stacy uh, from Piedmont. Uh, Piedmont Plumbers. Or Piedmont something or other plumbing. I don't even know. I know it's something Piedmont. So, thank you, Stacy. God bless. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Hope if you're seeing this, you're seeing this after the fact. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Uh, Stacy's a really cool cat. He's a pastor. Actually, I would not mind going to his church. He is just energetic. Just to even talk to Stacy, he's just energetic. You can't not like him. But he's not, he's not actually a plumber. But I think what he did was fantastic. He, uh, the original owner of the company that he bought had a very lucrative business and it, he was selling it because he was leaving or he was leaving and he wasn't actually selling it. Maybe Stacy took him into it. But Stacy didn't want to see the company die, so he bought it. I mean, I'm talking about... That's pretty gutsy to have no experience. And he hires some people and of course when you don't have experience you hire people that say they do and they, they usually don't. So I try to help Stacy out whenever I can. Um, Stacy even went to Africa for a number of years as a missionary. He did. The guy's done a lot of good. I, uh, I can't say that about a lot of uh, priests though they should all be doing the same thing in my eyes. Have the same passion but they definitely don't. So, Stacy, if you ever see this, um, God bless, man. You, you're doing a, a really good job. And I would, if I was Baptist or if I decided to start going to a Baptist church, trust me, yours would be my church. You are, you're, you're a leader. People will follow you and listen to you. I think that's great. Um, just trying to get the truck back here. Just trying to kill a little bit of time. Not that I'm saying anything good about Stacy because it's killing time, just figured I had something to say. I might as well say it. You know, this time of the season is for uh, forgiving people, um, rejoicing about life. I've had a lot of turmoil in my life. I have a lot of turmoil tonight to go home to. But I, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to hope, hope, and I do this every year. That next year will be better than this year. And what that's all we can do is just hope. Oh, geez, I can turn you off. Right on this robot street. boys tell me where to go anyway. Just to get me out of that place. So I, I hope everybody, I wish everybody out there a very safe and happy holiday season. Um, God bless everybody. I, I know I have my beliefs about aliens and about... Uh, you know, God being a, a different being. You know, he is, no matter what, he's definitely a different being, whether you uh, want to think of him as a green alien or a gray alien or a purple alien or just one of us. He's a being. So. No matter what, I'm right. But I hope everybody, uh, hope everybody has a great, great holiday, even though things are very, very tough nowadays. Uh, love your family. Love one another. You guys got they got moms grab a hold of that mom and give her a big old hug and kiss this year because you just never know bill with hollows corner 101 god bless merry christmas everyone